It sure is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful just like you are. Uh huh. Yes. And what else? Oh my goodness. It has pink and a beautiful color. Yeah. Hi, guys. The moment you've all been waiting for, baby Aurora. Today we'll be doing a face reveal slash questionnaire about labor and delivery. So guys, it's been officially two months since I'm a mom and it's been quite a hmm, roundabout. <laughs> An up and down situation. Oh, yes, that's right, Aurora. That's right. Mommy, mom life. I've been trying to like learn what my daughter needs and wants and trying to get myself back in shape and trying to eat right and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's been great so far. <laughs> and like, to be honest with you guys, I I never know that I was gonna be a mom. When I found out, I was I was so happy, like like it's one of my dreams come true type situation. And yeah, Aurora, she she's my miracle baby girl. Yes, Funkin. I love her with all my heart and she's brought so many good things in my life you know I get a lot of questions from people asking me like how is motherhood well my baby is not like every other baby and I'm, I'm not trying to bash anyone or the new moms out there every babies are different like my baby she gets a lot of tummy time and even her pediatrician they are so like surprised as to the things she can do she can raise her head isn't that right she could well she's been raising her head since she was born but now she can use her arms and raise up her of her body so she could be in a balance and she'd be looking everywhere all over the place and surprisingly at two months my baby starts teething so this is why she has a dribbler on right now because her mouth will be running water everywhere and you have to change her clothes so keep a dribbler on <laughs> so that's what you have to know as a new parent and also she has been really good at listening and I try to be really good at listening because sometimes I have to figure out what she wants and the other day I thought I heard she said no listen to what me I said if you pop and change your mom off the Bible what no and I'm like what did you say but obviously she didn't repeat it again and um one thing you should know about Aurora, she, oh, she's talking now. Well, like, not like fully talking, but she's like, she's responding to when you say something to her, she will interact with you. And she smiles a lot. Like even today, she was giggling and she surprised herself. <laughs> like even I was surprised. We were talking on the phone with one of her auntie. Yes. And out of nowhere, when her dad came, came back, yes, she was giggling. And then we were looking at her. And then she was so shocked herself. Like, I'm like, do it again, do it again. And she didn't do it again. Like, I wish we had caught that on camera. But, you know, some of the best moments won't be on camera. You just have to be in the moment at times. 
And yeah, it's hobby behind the camera. He's going to be asking the questions that you guys wanted to know about my labor and delivery and how it went. Okay, um, first question. How long were you in the hospital for? I was in the hospital for one whole week. How long were you in labor for? Guys, I was in labor for 29 hours. Aurora did not want to come out. Like, I tried. Not you sighing. Like, and when she came out, she was smiling. Big gum and tongue and everything. <laughs> they they tried so many things. I tried. Yes, I tried to get you out naturally, but that didn't work with me being at four centimeters for like twelve hours. I was there. Yeah, I was. Yes, Mama was really trying hard to get you out. Like they gave me pitocin to start contractions and then i had an epidural oh, oh, oh. yes and that didn't work like her heart rate and everything was okay and mine was okay too oh you want to sit up just a little bit more oh there you go how comfy now how comfy now yeah and after that they were like the last option to do is to have you do c-section like, that that was not my first option so i ended up doing c-section and i was it was so quick i, I didn't even know it happened so fast <laughs> all i know i was in and i was out and my beautiful daughter was right beside me along with my husband <laughs> okay uh what was the hospital food it was trash yeah like no joke it was trash it was not good it was as if it was like prison food and personally I don't know what prison food tastes like but it it was trash I love my food and that was not good food y'all uh, next question what was the size of the baby when she was born? Aurora was a big baby. Her size was 7 pounds and 1 ounce. Uh, next question. What are two lessons you have learned as a new mom? Two lessons I've learned as a new mom is patience and put your baby on a routine. Would you get pregnant again? Of course. <laughs> How long did you actually wait before having sex again? I waited seven and a half weeks. That's not cap. Probably back there laughing at me. It's not cap. I'm for real. Ain't that right? Well, you weren't there. Uh, next question. Have I been a supportive partner? Yes you have especially when i was in the hospital and i i just couldn't be bothered with the hospital food yeah and aurora wanted aurora and i wanted mcdonald's so i told hubby that there was a mcdonald's right up the street from the hospital 30 minutes went by i'm like where is he because the mcdonald's is five minutes away like i, I need the food now i want it now honey and i call him i'm like babe where are you he's like i've been trying to find this mcdonald's for half an hour no like where is it and in the next hour or so even though my food didn't arrive on time i still got my mcdonald's and i was happy next question do you have any more personal time oh yes guys you gotta keep it spicy over here we wait until Aurora is all calm and nice. And when she goes to sleep with Jim Squeechian, we take a little time for ourselves, you know? What do you do in that spare time? What do we do in that spare time? As I said before, Mama, are you okay? We take some personal time and keep it spicy. You know, you gotta keep the sex life going. 
早く早く。